This video was made possible by Brilliant. Learn complex topics simply for 20% off by being one of the first 200 to sign up at brilliant.org slash H-A-I. This video is about bricks. Now, one common mistake that I and others often run into when bricklaying relates to brick moisture levels. You see, mortar contains water, and if a brick is too dry, it will suck up all the moisture from the mortar and, rather than sticking to the brick, the mortar will dry too fast. When that happens, the adhesion level will be too low and the construction will be brittle. The solution to this issue is either to use wetter mortar or to pre-wet your brick. Okay, there's no way the feds will sit through all that brick talk. I think we're safe now. Today, we're spilling some government secrets. I've been digging through the archives. I've been calling my unnamed sources. I've been splunking the DC sewers to bring you the definitive guide to the White House's escape routes in case, you know, you end up in a scenario where you break in via the rooftop ventilation shaft to the west staircase, sneak across the hall to the court of TikTok where you make some sort of pun about how Truman sounds like true man. I haven't figured out what the pun is. All I know that there's got to be one. And then need to make a fast exit before the fuzz finds you. Not that I'm advocating for anyone to do that or anything. But the good news is that, in case you do, I've got you covered. You see, all that research I did brought me to this, a secret document about a small tunnel between the White House and the Treasury Building. First, some backstory. Way back in 1941, the baddies popped on over to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii for an unannounced visit. This, according to New Zealand Herald etiquette columnist Lee Suckling, is really just rude, but it also, of course, marked the start of America's involvement in the World War trilogy. Beyond that, though, it made a lot of people in Washington nervous. That's because Franklin Big Daddy Roosevelt was just sitting around in a White House-shaped target. It turns out that to do war, you need your president alive, so those in charge of that asked FDR to move his residence to another, safer location. However, FDR said, in the wise words of the Allies when Germany asked if it could create a pan-German racial state, no. Okay, backup plan. Let's just make the White House more secure. Great idea, said someone, so they got to work. The main project was to build a bunker under the east wing of the White House, but that was going to take a while, and the Fuhrer said that he couldn't delay the establishment of his pan-German racial state for construction to finish. So they looked for a short-term solution in case the Japanese or Germans popped by again. It turns out that right next door, the Treasury Building had a bunch of super deep vaults that could serve as bunkers. Perfect, said someone, so these vaults were quickly converted into a 10-room command center for the president, including living quarters for extended stays. Of course, if the baddies decided to firebomb Washington, it probably wasn't going to work great for the Secret Service to take FDR, who relied on a wheelchair, via the scenic route through the gardens. That's because bombs aren't good for people with paralysis. Therefore, they got digging. A 761-foot, 232-meter-long tunnel was built from a sub-basement of the East Wing to the Treasury Building's sort of moat thing. From there, the president could enter the treasury building and get to doing whatever you do when you're the president of a country getting attacked. I don't really know, it's never happened to me. But guess what? There are more tunnels. There's a secret entrance to the White House all the way over here. Right between 1510 H Street and this big brick-flavored building is an alley. The only signs that this alley is anything special is the beefy anti-ram vehicle gate and the Secret Service gatehouse built into the wall. Through that gate and down the alley is a door that leads into the Treasury Annex building. From that building, there's a tunnel that leads to the main Treasury building, where, of course, one can connect to FDR's tunnel. This all works as a great escape route in case a president needs to make a swift or covert exit, but, as far as we know, it's never been used for this purpose. That's the same case for the Treasury Building's temporary bunker, which quickly was replaced by the permanent bunker under the East Wing, which eventually evolved into the Presidential Emergency Operations Center of today. Nonetheless, though, the tunnel apparently still exists and is probably, but almost certainly not, the only underground tunnel going to the White House from another building. Now, when the Secret Service knocks on my door, I'm going to tell them that they can't, in fact, arrest me because I haven't broken the law. Well, the federal law, maybe, but I haven't yet broken Newton's law. You see, I know all about Newton's Law of Gravity because I took Brilliant's course on it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Gravity, laws, Newton, those all sound complicated, but Brilliant is the expert in teaching complex subjects simply through their fantastically designed courses. They break down concepts into small, easily digestible bits before building them back up into the overall idea. With the new year having just begun, now is the time to get started to make 2020 the year when you improve your grades, learn new skills, or just understand a little bit more of how the world works. By being one of the first 200 people to sign up at brilliant.org slash HAI, you can get started with your learning for 20% off.